A scientist at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, that's Kemri, are carrying out a study that could provide relief from malaria for pregnant mothers. The researchers are seeking to find out whether anti-malarial drugs are safe for pregnant women in their first trimester. Mashirima Kapombe reports on the potentially life-changing study in Fangano and Rusinga Islands in Homa Bay County. Homa Bay Referral Hospital is abuzz with activity. Pregnant women report here early morning for routine checkups. Residing as they do in a malaria endemic area means they are constantly at risk. Where we have lots of malaria, we see a very strong association between malaria during pregnancy and adverse birth outcomes. So hence malaria is really, really an important disease to answer and also to prevent and treat adequately during pregnancy. Irene Akinyi is a mother of three. Two years ago, she was expecting another baby, but it was never to be. When it came to the third pregnancy, I had a problem. Actually, it was painful. And in fact, even uh, the, the whole part of the body, even walking was a problem. Frantically, Irene sought medical care, but it didn't end well. So when I repeated the ultrasound, they say that uh, the, the pregnancy had a problem, but uh, the brain of the baby could not develop properly. So I was told to go to at least uh, to have the pregnancy being term terminated. The death of her fetus taught her some painful lessons about antenatal care in the first trimester of pregnancy. During the first trimester, I had some malaria and I was put on drugs. The guy actually said it could be it was um, because of the medication. The drugs I took uh, could have been, uh, affected the baby. January last year, Irene was blessed with a baby boy. A consolation for her tears, but she is one in many. 20 to 25 percent of pregnant women in Kisumu, Homa Bay, Siaya and Busia counties test positive for malaria, a terrifying diagnosis for them and their unborn babies. 33 percent of miscarriages in those areas are attributed to malaria. 27 percent of stillbirths also pointing to the disease, while 35 percent of preterm births are because of malaria. Mary Adhiambo is pregnant for the seventh time. She has had miscarriages twice in her motherhood journey and lost one baby a few days after birth. A community health volunteer in Homa Bay County says most of the women start attending antenatal clinic way after the second trimester, a fact that puts their babies at risk. They were really poor in going for antenatal care. care because they, they, they did not mind anything concerning the, 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 the kind of drugs that are being given at the clinic. You know, the first trimester, it needs a lot of care because at that point, it, it's easier for a mother to miscarriage, to miscarry, I mean. The drug in use now to treat malaria in pregnant women is quinine. But a seven-day dose plus its bitter taste are among challenges that make it unpopular. When you have conversations about quinine, the first thing someone tells you, oh, that drug that causes my ear to ring. And it's the one that's safest in first trimester. And until we find or confirm that the current, the other drugs are safe to prescribe, we need to collect enough evidence. Drugs used to treat malaria are in plenty, but not all are proven to be safe for women in their first trimester of pregnancy. So in the absence of this drug queening in our health facilities, you will see that coatem is prescribed. And at that particular point, it's an imperfect solution, but you have to choose between saving the life of the mother because of severe malaria and versus the long-term impact, which you're not absolutely sure about. The three-year study is aiming at enrolling 43,000 women aged 15 to 49 years in Fangano and Rusinga Islands at the end of the three years of this study. Then we can confidently go back to the, the, the World Health Organization as well as the drug manufacturers and say, i.e., you can confidently remove that label in those particular drugs when you will see the drug label that says that you, it's not safe or not confirmed to be safe during first trimester. The change of label will be a welcome relief to doctors managing malaria pregnant patients and put an end to the heartache that many like Irene and Mary have had to endure. Mashirima Kapombe, Citizen TV, Homa Bay.